Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another substance tutorial. And this time we are going to create our own stamps so that we can create our textures for this really cool helmet from Horizon Zero Dawn. If you are new to this channel, I post tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and so much more. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up that software, and let's go ahead and finish texturing this helmet in Substance Painter and bring it in into Maya. Okay, everybody, I promise I was going to finish this. It's been in my to do for a while and I finally decided to I actually have a little bit of time to go ahead and show you guys how to create your own personal details instead of just using what's available in Substance Painter. So this are the details that I want to create. It looks like a little circle with a little thing sticking out of it and then an oval right next to it. So that's the idea behind that. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop, uh, create a new file, and I'm going to do 512 by 512. That sounds good. 512 by 512 pixels, 72 resolution. And this looks like a good place to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just create the oval. So I'm going to create a new layer. I want to create an oval, but it has straight edges. So if I use a ellipse, it's not really going to give me the look that I want. The other option that we have is uh, a rectangle tool. And this rectangle tool can in fact create curves. So if I just click and drag right now, it's just a perfect rectangle. But if I increase this to, let's say 15, press enter, you'll notice that I get that. So I'm going to increase this significantly, maybe up to 90. Weep. And we get this really cool looking shape. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift to make it larger adjust it in the middle, and then when ready, you're more than welcome to hit enter. That's gonna give us a rectangle. Now, I'm gonna, I need to fill it. Go over here to the right in appearance, fill, and then go to black. And we now have our shape. You can scale it a little thinner, whoops, by holding down control T, hold down shift, and just kind of crush it a little bit, and that's gonna give you that shape too. Now, you may be wondering, do we really need all this white space? The answer is no. So let's go ahead and crop it. Mm -hmm. You know, press enter. All right. And I'm going to rasterize this because I do want it to have a little bit of a soft edge. So I'm going to right click on that layer, rasterize, rasterize that layer, go to filter, blur, uh, Gaussian blur. And whoa, it's a lot of blur. Let me just, I just want a little bit about 1.5, maybe two pixels. That looks pretty good. I need to invert it. So control I, and I have my first brush done. Yay, that was easy. Let's go ahead and flatten this image. File save as, let's go to the, I'm gonna actually place it in Calico Horizon Zero Dawn folder, the Maya folder, because I feel like that will really help me keep things organized. And we are gonna go to images. I'm gonna create a alpha folder. This is going to be my um, oval. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> oval alpha, just in case I need to search for it later. Okay, that was easy. Let's create a new one. 512 by 512 again. This one is going to be a little bit more, um, it's gonna require a little bit more work, but similar concept is that I wanna create an oval. And again, I'm gonna fill it with black so I can invert it later. You guys are more than welcome to change the background and work with white, that's fine. I'm just, this is the way I'm, it's working out for me at this time. And then I'm going to create a new layer because I want to create that little uh, design that it has. So I think the pen tool might be the easiest thing for me. Uh, I don't have a steady hand. So if you have a steady hand, you're more than welcome to try to brush it away. But I'm going to grab a pen tool. So the pen tool is located right here. And it kind of starts here. Um, it's going to, it arcs a little bit like this. And it goes up and then it goes back this way and then I'm going to close it. And there we go. We now have a path. All right, let's go ahead and create a selection. I'm not going to have any radius and it's going to fill it. I have a new layer, so let's go ahead and fill it with black. Um, it's not perfect, but I can use this to maybe rotate it a little bit and get a good start with it. So let me just go ahead and rotate it, make some adjustments. With the other one, again, I'm gonna rasterize the other one. So let's rasterize it so I can erase this section here. I'm gonna get a cleaner line by using a hard brush, making sure it's black, make it small, and then you hold down shift. Boink. A little too far in there, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make this a little circular. And let's 
something like that. All right, same story. Let's go ahead and control E all the layers, which basically flattens it. We're going to control I, which inverts it. We're going to go to the Gaussian blur and blur it. And then I am going to crop it. Ta da! Oh, maybe crop the bottom too, because I don't see the point of having so much space. All right, let's save. And this is going to be called my, I don't know, design Horizon Forbidden West 1. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Okay. All right, so let's grab them. I am, it's in my images and there's my alpha. Let's go to file, import resources. We're gonna add a resource and we're gonna go to images out, whoop, not the temp alpha and select these two and then just click open. It's gonna ask you, uh, it's undefined. So what is this? And we're gonna say that it's an alpha. We're gonna, it's gonna ask us, do you want it to be in the current session or do you want it to be in your library, which makes it permanent? I'm just gonna use it in my current. And they immediately put it in just like this, which I absolutely love. They're like, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna be working on the white section. So this is the blue tea tails, this is the steel, this is the white plastic, that's the one we wanna work on. And I have this fill layer that only has height and this is gonna sink in. So I think this is the one I'm gonna be using for details. So if I go into my black one and I draw on it, if it lets me, you can see that it goes down, so that's perfect. So once again, this is a fill layer. Uh, I removed everything but the height. I made it sink in a little bit. And I have a black mask, so I can use these alphas to actually start stamping. Now we can project it either here or we can project it on here, depending on what you want. So let's start off with the oval. So we're gonna go over here to the projection. So what I'm gonna do is grab this oval and drag it into here. And as you can see, as I paint, it basically shows up. So I'm going to use this method instead. And according to what I see, let me paint on here. That's the back. <laughs> let me go to the front. And there it is. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and align it. And if you need to rotate it, just hold down shift. And you can see that there's a couple of things that you can do to rotate it. And let's see, I can rotate this. Let me rotate the, I can rotate this, zoom in and just get it really close and then just paint it in. And you can see how clean it is. Now this is a little big. So again, I'm gonna zoom in really close because I just want, I want to one around here. Look how clean that is. And then one right here. There you go. Probably could be smaller, but you guys get the idea. And then it looks like there's another one to the left. So I'll just a little higher, maybe a little bigger just to kind of break it up or maybe smaller. Cool. All right, let's bring the other one. Uh, I believe I called it design. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Let's grab this one, see what alphas we have. We can use maybe, we'll use this one. Um, okay, so same story with this one. We just gotta make sure that we uh, rotate this because again, we have this whole piece here and it needs to be on the other side. So, all right, let me go ahead and flip this horizontally just to make sure I have different versions of it. Save it as gonna be number two. Back into Substance Painter. Let's import that resource again. Pink. All right, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here. Pink, there it is. And now I can actually go ahead and paint it in with not too many challenges. So there we go, something like that. It's a little sticking out over here, so I might undo this, just gonna squid it over here and then paint it again. Is it that big? Yeah, I guess it is that big. It's not that big. Let me zoom in here. And I think this would be a good place for it. Let's see. Go ahead and pin it in. And yeah, it looks actually way better. All right, neat. And that's how you can quickly create alphas in Photoshop and bring them into Substance Painter. So pretty, pretty cool. 
All right, I'm going to say this helmet is done. I mean, I'm sure I can add more and more detail, but you know, we got to call it someday. So let's go ahead and save this. And I am going to go into File, Export Textures, and I am going to place it somewhere that I can find it. And the best, I don't know why this keyboard's popping up, it's so weird. Uh, the best place to find it will be in my source images. So I'm copying that path. I'm pasting it here and I'm just going to call it substance just to make sure I've got things separated. I do want to use the Arnold standard. So make sure you use Arnold AI standard. All of this looks good. And let me go ahead and save these settings for now because I want to double click on this and just call it Horizon Forbidden West. Or you can call it Helmet as well. So totally up to you. But if I all, again, let's go to export textures. Arnold PNG, let's take a look at this. This is what it's gonna be called. Or if you wanna see what it's gonna be called, it's gonna look like this. Helmet, Horizon Freedom West, Base, Emissive, all that stuff. But I don't really have an Emissive map, so I'm gonna turn off Emissive. And I don't wanna use displacement, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off Height. But I do wanna keep the color, the metalness, the roughness, and of course, the normal. So everything else looks good. My 2048, my 2K map looks good. And let's go ahead and double check, make sure this is going to the right place. Yes, okay. All right, just like that, it is done. Let's hop into Maya. All right, here is Maya. Now I can show you how to individually connect all of these. Let me go to my heads up display, there we go. And, um, kind of connect it all, but I'm actually just going to use the shortcut. So if you guys don't know about this, there's a, a plugin that you can actually use and I'll, I'll post up a tutorial on it up above that basically shows you how to install it and all that stuff. But basically this will be just, it's really fast for importing your textures. So let's go there. I'm choosing Arnold. I'm gonna select my maps. Let's go to our source images. Here's my substance. And then you select all the ones that you want. Select. This looks good, uh, apply, and it basically did it. So now you have to just assign it. So right click, assign existing material. This is probably the new AI standard surface. And there it is. Really cool, really fast, I love it. Now I always like to double check to make sure my shaders are connected correctly and of course label. Uh, but let's see what it looks like rendered. Ooh la la, look at that. Beautiful. I find the background distracting, so let me grab that dome and actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete it. Just because I spent so much time, I might as well get a really nice dome instead of just a regular physical sky. So Arnold Light uh, Sky Dome. I'm going to uh, click on this color, go to a file, go to a folder, and I need to find an HDR dome. I'll be right back. Okay, I downloaded some. I'll post a tutorial on how do you find these uh, HDR domes for free. Go ahead and go to HDR and I found a bunch of sunsets. So let's see what they look like. Uh, this should be raw. Oh good, it changes that automatically. Um, let me double check. I change my camera to zero because I don't want it to render the background. I just want the light. And let's see what this helmet looks like. Oh yeah, sunset, so pretty. It's a little bright on the left, not a fan, so. I'm gonna press escape, take a snapshot of that, and then try a different dome. So let's go ahead and choose the golf course. Again, I was trying to go for sunset, warm. All right, this one's also really nice. It's got this really nice feeling towards, very similar to, well, actually, no, this one's a little bit more pink and things like that. So it looks good, but let's try one more. This is Venice sans, uh, Sunset. And I like the way this one's coming out. I want to maybe rotate the dome a little bit. So look at that Venice. Ooh la la. Let's move, where's the sun? There's the sun. I want it to be, okay, let's see what that looks like. Whoop. Very pretty. Definitely like this one a lot. I'm going to check a couple of things here. I'm gonna press escape first. Just wanna check my normal maps, make sure everything looks good. I'm gonna to go to my geometry. I'm gonna to go to my bump map. I'm gonna make sure that's raw. 
and alpha luminance is on great and i'm also going to turn on my open up and both of these are turned off which is great if you want it to be a little stronger you can go ahead and crank up your bump depth that's going to make the normal map stick out a little bit more and let's take a look at my roughness again i'm just checking to make sure alpha is it's raw and alpha luminance is turned on and i'm also going to do that with metalness so raw okay good yeah looks great Let's turn on my resolution gate and let's get a solid render here. Let me increase my render settings. So let's make this a little bigger, 720. And then uh, actually these are pretty good. There's no transmission, there's no glass that I'm aware of. So, all right, let's take a, a nice little render here. I'm gonna save because I already did a bunch of work. <laughs> all right, let's render. Pretty neat. Gotta love Sunsense Painter. Well, that renders. Um, I mean, there are some little things I need to still add. I still need to add these little guys um, and these, but overall really fairly quickly you can actually design this horizon zero dawn inspired helmet really fast using substance painter i also am really impressed with the designs from horizon zero dawn and forbidden west the designs are extremely complicated and and now that i've modeled and textured it i see that there's significantly more details that need to be added into these pieces but i think it worked out really well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video series from beginning modeling to UV mapping to texturing and textured it in Substance Painter and then brought it back to Maya for a final render. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and you enjoy the content. If you liked it and want to see more of these type of tutorials, please like and subscribe. That is your message to be letting me know that you like this content and that you want to see more. Uh, don't forget to also share this video if you think that uh, there's an artist out there that could use a tip or two on how to model UV map, texture a complicated helmet, especially if they like or love Horizon Zero Dawn and please share this video. That would be amazing. Again, thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free resources such as ebooks, 3D models, reference images, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. If you want to support me a little bit further than just liking, subscribing, and commenting, please purchase an e-course. I provide e-courses that are deep dives into Maya so that if you're interested in learning more about modeling, UV mapping, and texturing, lighting, and rendering, then please take a look and purchase an e-course. That would be incredible. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to look at these other videos right here on the right. I think you would really enjoy them and I will see you next time.